and I know it's for someone. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9 and 10. Studio, put up scripture. Associate yourself, O ye people, and you shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all ye of far countries, guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. Take cancer together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, it shall not stand, for God is with us. Wherever they are planning for you, whoever is planning for me, that's the prayer, whoever is planning for me, whoever is also involved in that plan, Lord, break them in pieces. Let their plan backfire on their own head. Amen. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. I don't know anybody's name. Surely they shall gather. Taking counsel. Scheming, strategizing. The very plan they have designed, pre-planned, arranged. Let it backfire on their head. Anyone involved in that plan, Lord, I speak for by the authority of your word. Let the person, let the individuals be broken in pieces. Let the counsel they have taken be what will swallow their life. In the name of Jesus, let their wicked expectation backfire upon their own head. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand for me. No wicked counsel, no wicked arrangement will prosper in my life. Thank you, Father. Disappoint the plan of the crafty. Frustrate their wicked enterprise. Let their wicked arrangement backfire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. You will not be a victim of the plan of the enemy. Anywhere they are planning for you, whoever is involved in that plan, let them pay with their own blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and take your seat. I just remember this testimony now. It's not a bad thing that you did a good thing. Somebody bought a car, not to his father or to his father's brother. His father is late. So the man now got angry that uh, he bought a car and that he should have bought the type that he bought for himself. <laughs> so what he did was to go to the evil mirror where they shoot arrow. Unfortunately for him, this brother is a genuine born again. You know, there are people you can't invoke. You invoke them, you enter trouble. He went and invoked this brother before an evil mirror. And funny enough, the, the Obolobo man that is uh, consulting for him said that they will call his name. It will appear. After the third time, it should strike. He gave him a sword to hit. So they called the first one, his name appeared, his face appeared. Called the second time, the face appeared. The third time, his face appeared. When he was about to strike, something happened. How many of us know that God operates the law of uh, elimination by substitution? 
Oh, you don't know it's in the Bible? See as they look me. Open your Bible. Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. So that somebody will read it. From verse 3. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sibia for thee. Look at the next verse. Since thou wert precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Elimination by substitution. So, when he was about to strike, God withdrew the brother's face and put his own face. So, he struck himself and fell down dead. Now, the evil high priest was the one that was now sharing his testimony. It's sounding funny, Abby. He went to strike. He was the one that was stricken. Whoever they sent to strike you, I speak as a son of a prophet. The person will be stricken in your favor. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The juju man was the one that said, I ain't come pay you. Saying one do this thing. I do and for I don't know say the thing will be like this. <laughs> May that not be your story. <laughs> In Jesus' name. I pray that prayer now. I know God has delivered somebody as I'm talking now. In the first service, we looked at breaking out of your comfort zone. Please, um, to beginning from today, how many of us are on WhatsApp? Kolo. If you are not on WhatsApp, you are a Kolo. <laughs> Why I'm saying this so that people can be listening to these messages. The messages are being sent out, but you are not enjoying it. People will be collecting it from London, from US, from Abuja, from Portacot. You need to collect. Praise God. So, um, they will create a register. They will type it, your name, your phone number, your, I think, I think with your email, uh, yes, so that you'll be receiving our messages through YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, so you can be benefiting from it. You go there, pick any message you want. Praise God. In the first service, we focused on break, in out from your comfort zone and thank God where is that brother that shared testimony the honorable hey, come <laughs> it was a classic example of that first service what he was getting at a point could not carry what was coming so God started showing him some things and that's what we are going to focus on now so that the money will not be choked. You know, there's a, a, a way challenges will come. It will choke the money. God will not choke your money. <laughs> In Jesus' name. So he had to break out from his comfort zone. So that he won't be bearing honorable and the problem will be hitting him. <laughs> hear me or hear me well. Don't blame him. There are many, let me say 97% of politicians that are not financial literate. They are not. That's why many of them, when they come back, they are broke. They are broker than broken bottom. I've seen a local government chairman that came for welfare. I have seen. I mean, they tell you. But when he was in office, he was sleeping in good hotel. But after his tenure, the center cannot hold again. He came for welfare to pay the child school fees. 
Me, I didn't give him up. Me, give you. When he was there, how many did he empower? Oh. He won't come collect. He won't come claim holy brother. So in this second service, we are focusing on creating your flow. In the book of Genesis, scripture told us that there were four streams. Am I correct? So even Adam started practicing multiple streams of income. He had multiple streams. Euphrates, Pishon, the other two. So you don't go cage your life that uh, I cannot do it. That word I can't is only found in your dictionary. Even Jesus himself, in Matthew chapter 25, scripture says, and he gave unto them several. How many? Several is how many? Several is not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four, it's not five. And he gave unto them several abilities, not disabilities. It's only in church that people claim disabilities. We are going to see from this teaching ability is not a muscle. Your ability is in your mind. No wonder people that think well, they pay them more. Even in banks. The people that abuse is strategizing growth, creating new opportunities. They pay them more than people that are doing bulk counting. No. There are some people whose job is just sit down, strategize. If you are not a strategist, you cannot go far in life. Financially. If it is just collecting a, a deposit and paying checks that banks have been doing, many banks must have retired since. Two of us. But now bank they say recharge card. Bank they say YEC form. Bank they say NDA form. Eh? They are even selling jam form. Everything they are doing. Never be, then they collect. DSTV, then they collect. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? They even advise you, buy your recharge card from your account. As you, you just see the code, they say, can you see now you can buy your recharge card? Become a waster. What they're telling you, waste the money, waste the money. It's easy for you so that when you are traveling, you will not be stranded. But buy the recharge card from your account. Have you discovered that any money you spend that way, you can't properly account for it? How can the money just finish? I ain't no go finish. <laughs> I'm just starting now. If you don't want to be a victim of financial stagnation, refuse to stay with tradition as it was in the beginning. It's now, so shall it be forever and ever. Don't die with tradition. Things are changing. Change with it. If not, you will expire.
Money is never a factor to create wealth or to create a flow of supply. It's never a factor. God is not asking you how much do you have. He's asking you what is in your mind. Money is never a factor. That's why some people, they can't take initiative. The next thing that will come to their mind is, how much do I have? I better keep this thing. No wonder nothing has succeeded in working in your life. If everything you think about is the manifest, then God is not, God is not needed. How much did God use to recreate the earth? Where was Julius Vega? Where was Setraco? If he needed money, if it was Julius Vega or Setraco that he needed, but no, it was not money that he needed first. He needed to picture what he wanted to be created. Anything you want can be created. In Psalm 104 and verse 24, he said, by wisdom, let's read that scripture. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom has thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. That aspect of wisdom that brought it to pass is what we call the creative wisdom. Creativity. Started with God, but it did not end with God. Creativity started with God. It didn't end with God. He only handed over the body. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and do what? Replenish. That word replenish means recreate. Reshape, redesign, reprogram, rebuild, replenish so that it cannot finish. Creativity started with God, but it did not end with God. God created the trees, but he didn't create a exercise book. Who created a exercise book? God created the trees, but he didn't create clothes for you. Where did the uh, clothes come from? From where? How can you see? Plant. Creativity started with God. It didn't end with God. The shoe you are wearing now is somebody's thoughts. True of us. The Brazilian we've won, you are wearing now. Who think I? Talk now. They just gave it a name. You are paying for the name. It's the name that you are buying. That's why they call it Brazilian we've won. So that when you hear the name Brazilian we've won, they will draw money from your hand. Through of us. I want to let you know this. Money is not in any specific location. It's not in abroad. It's not domiciled in oil company. Thank God the price of oil is crashing. You can be in abroad and be a beggar. Even in America, there is a Jegule. There is Morocco. Oh, you don't know before? It's a Jegule in the U.S. There are some people, they are still sending money abroad from here. They contribute money, send for them. Why? They are not doing well. They are not getting job. So the problem, like I said in the first service, is not job. The problem is that some people don't really know essentially what they needed. 
What you need is not job. What you need is how you can create your flow to meet your needs. Am I correct? Problem is not job. If the problem is job, how will a professor from Nigeria go abroad? I mean, he's working in four places. Restaurant, toilet, gate man. What is he actually doing? He wants to meet his needs. So he needs all the money that will meet his what? Need. So he had to create multiple. I wash toilet here, wash dead body here, do gate man here. They do all those things. Serve in restaurants. Go to factory and be packing. Either they are packing carton or packing exercise book. Or packing provision. What is he doing? He's creating multiples. So that he can meet the needs at home. Not the title. The title cannot meet his needs. True or false? The title cannot meet his needs. Prophet. Could he meet the needs? No. But he needed to create it. So he needs to go look for it. Everyone that is truly born again, you expected to experience what we call a changed mindset. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become what? New. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Now that he entered into the heart of man, what God has prepared for them that love him. But he has revealed them to us by his spirit. For we have the mind of Christ. You don't have an ordinary mind. You have an anointed mind. A mind that can picture possibilities. Things are not difficult for you because the environment is difficult. Things are difficult for you because you are thinking difficulty. I know somebody will argue with that one. But wait, let me finish. When Israel was coming out of Egypt, they were slaves. Hence, they came out with a slavery mentality. And I will not forget what Matthew Ashimolewo said. What the colonial master succeeded in doing to us was to teach us how to write CV, not to explore opportunities. Just like I said in the first service, our coppers now, they'll be writing all manner of CV. You see, you don't see this tie. CV now has style. Oh. <laughs> Hear me? It's not the packaging of the CV that determines the job you get. When I graduated, I, I, I tie myself. I write, 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 write. Nothing. The day they even called me for the job in health. No CV. I just went there and wrote, uh, my, this is my name, this is my school, this is, I graduated as a geologist, this is my grade, this is this, where have you worked? Okay, come tomorrow. Somebody will take you through. CV, yeah, yeah. So it's not the CV. Like I said in the first service, all those jobs, they cage your brain. They inhibit you from thinking creatively. Well, I know somebody will be arguing with it. I will not give you six months. Because by December, you stop getting allowance. Home and abroad. Yes, so you stop getting allowance. Now they are expecting you to send them allowance. So they came out with a slavery mentality. No wonder they said, we see ourselves small in our own eyes. 
So many people are still operating that slavery mentality. They were in their promised land, but yet with a slavery mentality. Proverbs 3 verse 7, as a man thinketh, if you think poor, you will live poor. As a man thinketh, where you are now is the product of your thinking. If you, if you must change from where you are now to a more better place, you will first of all start changing your thinking. Thoughts control life. As a man thinketh in his heart, so we see. You are not the one thinking it. Neither is somebody thinking it for you. I've not seen where what somebody feels about you affected your flow in pocket. Should I shock you? You don't need to like me before we prosper. You're not liking me is your own undoing. As a man thinketh, not as how somebody is thinking for him, as a man is if my uncle will have helped me if I don't go far. You don't need your uncle to become what God has in mind for you. In fact, your uncle can even be a limitation. They will even be angry that God is even blessing you. You know, we have a household wickedness everywhere. As a man thinketh, hear me? For wealth to be created, you must think it. Nobody suddenly become rich. Any wealth you get by accident, you will lose it by accident. No man suddenly became rich. Anyone you see wealthy today has been treading on that thought for a long period of time. Long period of time. So creating your wealth flow begins with what we call idea. Say with me, idea. idea. We have natural idea that they call common sense. We also have intellectual idea which you get from school. But shall I tell you here? Certificate is not an automatic guarantee for wealth. It's not an automatic guarantee that you will prosper. Don't say, why is pastor talking like this? Me too, I'll be graduate. Certificate is not automatic guarantee for wealth. It only gives you an edge in the society. It only gives you an edge to see better, to think better. We also have what we call divine ideas. That is the inspired thoughts of the spirit of God. There is a spirit in man, Job 32 verse 8, and the inspiration of the almighty showed him what to do. Every other idea can expire, can be short-lived, but divine ideas cannot expire. They outlive you. Divine ideas are transgenerational. Coca-Cola started with someone. It didn't end with the man. As Coca-Cola expired, 
No. It's still on. As Mercedes Benz expire, in fact, they are still producing Mercedes Benz to date. Mercedes Benz is a family business. So. It's a family business. It's a family that owns Mercedes Benz. It's a family that owns Mercedes Benz before it grew to a corporation. So our mind is the factory for creating wealth, creating our flow. So as I'm seeing you here now, I'm not seeing you poor. You are not poor, Lai Lai. As far as the God whom we serve is concerned, you are not poor. I say you are not poor. That's why anybody pitying you is making a terrible mistake. Anybody pitying you, anybody despising you is making a terrible mistake. Terrible. You may be low now, but tomorrow you can change. Yes, I know. I've seen it work. Severally. Not one, not two. Scripture even said, though thy beginning be small, thy latter end shall greatly increase. We are recalling the testimony of a young girl that graduated as the best graduating student from Redeemers University. Her mother was a cleaner. Cleaner with a sweep. The father was late. So the, you see the uncle or the auntie? The uncle carried her for one graduation ceremony. A poor girl from a poor home she saw how someone was collecting the prizes. Collect, collect, collect. So she started calculating the money. Now the uncle now told him that hey, it can be you. So she now told the uncle that I vow that I will graduate as the best. The mother was still doing the cleaning business. So she would go help the mother do the cleaning business. And that was how God started showing her favor. People started paying her school fees. Till she graduated. On graduation day, she graduated as the best. What I'm trying to let you know, you can picture your way out of poverty. You can picture your family now. No matter where you are staying, you know, I'm talking to you. No matter where you are staying now, you can picture yourself out of penury. That image sticks. And she ran with it for good five years. I'm sure after graduation, people that will marry her now, they have been sending text messages. Through of us. WhatsApp must have been flying by now. Am I correct? But she chose to pay her price. Hear me? There is no sudden wealth anywhere. Anyone that will be wealthy Pay your price. If you fail to develop your mind for wealth, you may never create a flow. How much more flows? Scripture says, work out your salvation. With what? God has saved you from sin. Walk out to the others. He has saved you from sin. Salvation includes riches. He was made poor so that through his poverty we might become what? Rich. But you need to work it out. It is worked out. It is not assumed. God will do it. If you do nothing, God will also do nothing. So your mindset must prosper with thoughts that can be converted into realities. If 
you must change your material situation, change your thinking by fueling it with ideas. If you must change your material situation, you must change your thinking. How do ideas come? How do ideas come? One principal way ideas flow is through information. Information is the gateway to possibilities. Is the gateway to transformation. I pity any man or any woman that hangs around someone that is feeding him with bad news. He's killing you. You are dying gradually. But you will prove me right or wrong in the next one year, in the next two years, whether I'm correct. Whoever is feeding you with bad information is killing you. You are dying poor. Why? The base on which thoughts are being fertilized into reality is dying. And that is the mind. So if the person is feeding you with bad news, is burying you, he wants you to die poor. So that you transfer poverty to your wife and children. Why? As a man thinketh. If he's feeding you with bad information, you'll be thinking it until you become it. But when someone is feeding you with good information that will transform you, the first thing that will happen to you, you become sleepless. How will I become this thing that this person is talking about? How will this thing materialize in my life? How will I become this thing that this person is talking about? You know, there are some information you will hear, you sleep with one eye and keep one eye open. Two of us. Why? Sleep has been taken away. You want to see the realities of what the person is talking about. <laughs> Somebody's laughing. So whatever we become on the outside is determined by the information that enters into us. Information is the breeding ground of ideas. When ideas come, it's not thinking of impossibility. It's not saying I can't. It's not saying it's not possible. No. But I want to give you a word of caution. Anytime you tell yourself, I can't. I can't make this kind of money. I can't make it. Something happens to you. There is what we call the speech center in the brain. It controls every part of you. The moment that word, I can't, is released, a message is sent to your whole being including your hormone. And what he's telling is that begin to respond, I can't. I can't. So once you receive, you voice out, I can't. I can't do it. I can't make this kind of money. The CNS will receive a message and it will transmit to your whole body to begin to behave. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It operates the same thing. I am sick. It will send the whole message, begin to respond, I am sick. I am sick. I am sick. Is somebody catching where I'm going now? So be careful of what you say. Tell your neighbor, be careful of what you say. So if you want your mind to do the unimaginable, think possibilities. Enlarge your thoughts with good financial dreams. Don't say nobody has done it. Don't say it's difficult. 
Being poor is a state of the mind. Being rich also is a state of the mind. So you choose the one you want. Papa said, if you are poor, it's your fault. If you are rich, it's also your fault. So choose your fault. Which one do you want to choose? Creating your flow begins with a consciousness. It begins with a consciousness. Which kind of consciousness? I remember asking one of my staff sometime, asking Frank, if you were to ask God now how much he will give you, how much will you ask? He said, 25,000. It's not slip of tongue. I said, why? I can tell his response. He said, I don't want to ask God too much so that he will not change his mind. Some people are shouting. If I ask some people now, how much are you expecting? So we will say, 50,000. If you give me 50,000, it's okay. You are a liar. Oh, I just remember that testimony. Before Stella Obasanjo passed on, one of her schoolmates came to a place where she visited. What's that name that she was calling her? Oh. There was a particular name that they were calling her when they were in school. So she started echoing that name. She started echoing that name. So she told her security protocol, wait. Call that person. It must be someone that knew me to my hostel that can call me that name. You now call the person. Come. The person now came. Auntie, you forget me. You were in the same hostel. He said, yes, I know. For you to call that name, I know. You now ask her, what do you want? You call it what? What do you want? What do you want? Say anything. Guess what came out from my mouth? If she had said, give me contract, was it possible or not? <laughs> if she had said, give me five million, was it possible or not? <laughs> what came out from my mouth? 50,000. <laughs> Wait, I'm about to hit you now. She just brought out a this thing, wrote check of 50,000 and gave her complimentary card. After she gave her complimentary card, he told her, I'll be back in two weeks' time. Come and see me. But she never came back. Oh. 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 What do you want, one? What do you want, two? What do you want, three? 50,000. Error. Should I tell you something? Do you know why your financial situation has not changed? Do you know why? It's not because country is hard. It's not because there is recession. It's because you have not been able to define what you want. That's your problem. You have not. Even Jesus said, he tattoo, have you not asked me anything? He said, ask now. And it shall be done by my what? Father. You have not asked me anything. All the things you have been asking. Can you imagine? You are before wife of president. What do you want? She was a G3. Say something now. 50,000 came out. He just gave her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
for your financial situation to change, you must begin to think what no man can give to you that only God can give to you. That's the beginning of the creating of your flow. For the quality of your life to change, of the quality of your flow to change, your thoughts need to change. Bear this in mind, and he gave unto them several abilities. Not one job that is paying 60,000 or 75,000. God did not tie our destiny to job. Our destiny is tied to supply. To what? And the supply will create the flow through the abilities. Because anything you can imagine, God says, I can give it to you. Now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or do what? Think. So if you can think it, God can give it. Like I said before, it starts with information. People play with information. Let me shock you here, but we are going to major on it in the third service, on the power of opportunities. Some information that comes your way now on wealth, they, are, they don't even look like the dream that you are pursuing. But they are necessary to you arriving at where God has in mind for you. That's why I pity anyone that says he's a contractor. You may have a contractor brain. How many times that contract come in a year? How many competitors do you have? If someone is giving you a job now from a particular place now, be radio in the next two years, somebody will go to CAC and register to do the same job. You now have competitors. So if job didn't come, that means that God has failed. Your brain now stagnates. God gave you a source to create other flows. Not to limit your flow. There was a CU graduate. He had partnership with Microsoft and designed something that they will be using in Covenant University. Some group of persons went and ganged up to remove the job from him. He didn't worry himself. Oh. He said, ah, the market is too large. So if someone has removed it, let him face other markets. And the other jobs he, get, he got now is times three of what he was doing in CU. That goes to let you know when one door closed. Not another door. Seven better doors. Don't say another door. Seven better doors. The thoughts that by removing that job from him, they have finished him. It's a lie. A thinker will always be a thinker. A thinker will always be a thinker. He will strategize his way to other, better, other places. He got more opportunities than what he had before. So if you are not generating a flow, you are at fault. Some of the informations that come your way now, they are giving you a platform for a change. But some people will despise it. They will despise it. How do I create my flow? Number one, you can start as an employee. It's giving you a source. It can be an employee in a bank, in a place. You can also be self-employed. You can also own a business that runs without you. You know, there are businesses that can run without you. You are getting your flow, but you are not physically present.
Something is working, but you are not there. That's what we call autopilot money. That money is set on autopilot. You are doing other things, but something is flowing somewhere. And Warren Buffett said, if all you will get is all that you labor for, you will work until you die. Did you get that? If all you will get is all that you labor for, is, is what? He said, you will work until you die. He said, truly rich people, they are sleeping, but their money is working. Poor people work for money. Rich people, money is working for them. And that brings us to the point of investment. If you will truly create a flow, you must make investments. You are not the one working. Your money is working. You know money works. Money is working. There's one of our pastor, Pastor KK. One of the Coca-Cola factories in South Africa is paying him one cent of every bottle produced. You know what is one cent of every bottle produced? So if they produce one million bottle per month, so it's collecting one cent multiplied by what? For life. Who like that kind of money? If you don't raise your hand, you're a winch. <laughs> it's a sign that you like poverty. I, I know in church people pretend very well. People can pretend in church. But when they go back home, the need will be biting them. Calculate it. One cent per bottle. Not two, just one cent. One cent. And number four, become an investor. Look out for opportunities to invest. Look out for opportunities to invest. Don't fear failure. If you fail, you learn experience. You learn lesson. If you think of succeeding without failing, you are a liar. You are a you are a <laughs> you are a 21st century liar. Look for opportunities to invest. And the opportunities to invest keep increasing on a daily basis. How many of us have heard of Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett has nothing less than 13 solid running business. How many? He owns a jet manufacturing company but does not have one jet. If, if you are to be a Nigerian. <laughs> you forget car park. You forget jet park for personal one. That brings me to what I want to say now as we summarize. He has succeeded in creating what we call an ecosystem of money. Money has an ecosystem. When you have an ecosystem of money, you don't run out of money. You have flows. Say with me, flows. Anytime a need arises, there is a money to use. I'm not struggling. Rivers, do they dry up? I lie. One will connect to the other. The other one connect to the other. Finish. 
You won't miss it again. Yeah. So you start by being an employee. From there, you gather some. Hear me, oh, let me say this, oh. Don't think by saving you will become wealthy, oh. If you like, go and put your money now in First Bank. 500,000. How much will they give me? 22,500 for one year. <laughs> Since you know get sense, they use their money get sense for you. Am I saying the truth? They use your, their money get sense for you. They cycle your money. Cycle, 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 cycle. This is your own. 22,500. So what you save that whole year is 500,000 plus 22,500. So your total money is 522,500. Rise up to your feet. Tell your neighbor, I will create my own flow. You can sell toothpick and be rich. You can sell matches and be rich. You can sell pure water and be rich. You can sell granite and be rich. You are going to pray, Father, my story must change. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. I decide today to change my life and change my story. My story must change. I vow a vow against poverty. I vow a vow against lack. I vow against hardship. My story must change. I refuse to be limited. I refuse to be on the same spot. My story must change. I vow a vow against mediocrity. I vow a vow against lack. Whatever has kept me on the same spot, I break him today. Whatever has limited me spiritually, mentally, physically, I declare them broken today. I will take positive steps that will guarantee my change of story. Lift up your voice. Pray that from the depth of your heart. I refuse to be on the same spot. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed, all heads bow. You are here, you are not born again. But you want to make it right with Jesus. So that your life can be better than what it is now. Wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me wherever you are, congratulations. Put your hands together for Jesus. Carry your bag and your Bible and come forward right now. I want to pray with you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please come. Come, come. If you are coming, come. You don't need to be ashamed. You have escaped shame. You have escaped reproach. If you are coming, come quickly. Put those hands together for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Let me welcome them. God bless you. Put those hands together for Jesus. This is the best 
moment of your life. To them that come unto you shall you in no wise cast out they've accepted jesus christ as their lord and as their savior and i stand today decreeing that the guilt of their past they are rolled away every cause every accusation of the devil over your life it is destroyed now in the name of jesus as this oil come upon you from today things will begin to work well things will begin to work well Things will begin to work well. Things will begin to work well. Things will begin to work well. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please, open your eyes. Just follow this man right now. Everybody rise to your feet. Rise to your feet, rise to your feet. I want to pray for you. There's a place of favor and there's a place for impartation. Yes, I tell you the truth. My master asked me, what do you want? I said, I want that creative brain you have collected from Papa. So before Papa will lay hands on me, I know you have dwelt long with him. I want it. If your mind is working, I bet you everything will work. That's why Look at Covenant Investing now. They are not being sponsored by church. They are running as autopilots on their own. They stopped sponsoring them long. Even Landmark Investing, they are not sponsoring them again. They are on their own. Generating their own. That's why they have Covenant Bread. Hebron. They even have Plantain Chiso. They have Hebron Water doing their own thing. They have a very massive fish farm. I will take you there one of these days. If you see their poultry, not be here. They are planting plantation. They've not started. It's just they are just expanding and growing. If Papa is not thinking like an investor, how would they have bought the land? from back back uh, to go and meet Lagos back. They don't buy the land from back, 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 back. Go, go jam Lagos again. You can't be in this commission and it doesn't work for you. It must work here. I said it must work here. If you are in a plane, if the plane goes 33,000 meters high, you too, you have gone 33,000 meters high. Am I correct? Put your right hand on your head. I pray for every one of you. The creative mind that makes things to work in this ministry. Answer for you in the name of Jesus. Papa said, Every year is a plus, not a minus. I pray from this moment, every year will be a plus for you. Whatever look like a setback now, one month from now, two months from now, three months from now, you will recover all. You will recover all. Every garbage that the enemy has put in your mind, be swallowed up by fire. It is written, We have the mind of Christ. I pray by prophetic grace that mind of Christ be activated. Your mind will be thinking success, your mind will be thinking breakthrough. 
your mind will be thinking progress in the name of Jesus no more failure no more lack in Jesus name we pray if you are saying amen say better amen, amen. tell your neighbor congratulations tell another person congratulations put your hands together for Jesus and please get seated God bless you